probability, probability, probability. <laughs> Part two. Quick reminder, we want to use probability to learn something about our data, but we rarely have a finite sample, which means that you can actually count all the possible outcomes. So instead, we assume that we have an infinite set. Infinite set. So how do you overcome that, dude? The answer is simple. All you need is sampling. Ah, uh, geez, what is sampling? If you want an in-depth discussion about what sampling is, see the video linked in the description. But here's the basic idea. First, we specify a population. <laughs> a population is the entire group that you want to generalize your results to. Examples? If you want to know the probability that I will get three sixes, then the population is all dice I could possibly roll in the future. If I want to compute the probability that I'm gonna be YouTube famous, the population is the future of all possibilities of my YouTube growth. Yeah, we're getting all sci-fi up in here. What is my probability that I will wear a wig on the next video? It's a blanket, thank you very much. What's the probability this guy I met on the internet is a creep? The population is all guys that you might possibly meet in an online dating environment. Y'all get what a population is? So once we have defined, conceptually at least, our population, then we have to sample from it. Ideally, we do no, a random sample alone. so every person in this I population this. has an equal probability of getting selected. If we do it right, then on average, our sample will look like the population. Hey, look at that, we kind of look like them. Then we can use the information obtained in our sample to glean information about the population. Or in stats ease, we say, Use a random sample to make inferences about the population. Once again, the sample we're really not interested in, we care about the population. Because once again, the population is what we're interested in. Probability this guy's a creep. Probability I'm gonna hit three or more stoplights. How certain I am about my productivity score tomorrow. These are population questions. And how do we do that, you ask? Using probability density functions. What the? The probability density function, which will be the topic of our next video. Until then, 